Hey, Sooner Nation, time to introduce you to the newest member of the Oklahoma football coaching staff, Jay Bulware, who will be coaching tight ends and special teams while you were born here in Oklahoma City. How excited are you to return to the Sooner State and coach here at OU? Pretty excited. Um, it's, it's really uh, kind of surreal right now for me. You know, uh, when I was growing up as a little kid, all of my family were big OU fans. And uh, to actually see myself uh, here in the Crimson and, uh, you know, being in this facility, it's, 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 it's a dream come true. Well, you played and coached at Texas. What's it going to be like coaching across the Red River? I work for the Sooners. <laughs> <laughs> they feed my family right now. It's, it's, it's you know, this, this, is, this profession is, is it's really neat. Uh, you get a chance to get around a number of different places and uh, be a part of a lot of different families. And, uh, you know, I just left a, a, a good family uh, at the University of Wisconsin before that. Uh, Auburn, or I spent four years of my time, and they embraced me and took me, took me and my family in. And you know, every pl place that you stop at, they kind of have a piece of you, you know, because you know, I got a little five-year-old girl right now, and she still thinks she's uh, first on first-name basis with the mascot, you know. <laughs> so, you know, this is home. This is home for me, and uh, my grandmother lives 30 minutes from here in, in Oklahoma City. So, uh, I look forward to it. Well, you coach tight ends and special teams at Auburn. We're part of that national championship team. How will that experience benefit you coming here where expectations are so high and to win a national title every year? Well, you know, I think everywhere I've ever been, I think God has prepared me for um, the, the challenges ahead of me. And, uh, you know, whether it was Stanford, you know, Utah, Arizona, it doesn't matter. I think uh, every place I've ever been to, I try to take a little bit from it, uh, from the coaches I've met with. So uh, I feel like I'm totally prepared for this opportunity and the challenge that we have here with uh, uh, facing us in, during the season. And uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think I'm ready. Well, you was among the nation's best in a number of different categories and special right. teams. What approach will you take to make those special teams even better? Well, you know, first of all, you know, I just got here, so I don't really know exactly, you know, what's going on and, and what they did really well and what they didn't do really well. Um, you know, we're going to meet as a staff. I'm going to get with Coach Stoops and, and the rest of the guys, and he's going to kind of lead me and guide me to, as to what he's looking for for me, and uh, we're just going to go from there. As far as tight ends go, what do you hope to bring to this, this offense? Uh, I hope to bring, um, you know, with our tight ends. Again, I haven't seen the kids. I don't really know uh, what their capability level is, but we expect to have a – uh, a top-notch tight end uh, playing for OU every year. So, uh, you know, wh whatever that is, whoever that is here on the, on the roster right now, uh, or, you know, as we're recruiting and whatnot, uh, we're going we're gonna to have one of the best players in the country at that position. How much of a crash course are you going to go through this week to be prepared for Saturday's uh, for opening spring practice? Well, it's going to be pretty quick, that is true. <laughs> uh, but, you know, right now I have no life. Football is my life right now. You know, my family's still in Auburn, Alabama, and uh, i got plenty of time to get things right, so I'll be ready to go. Your playing career ended prematurely at Texas. Um, for, for Sooner fans who might not know your story, what happened there and how did that help you get into coaching? Uh, well, I, I had a, what's called an arrhythmia. Um, and uh, that stopped me from playing uh, in my third year uh, in, in school. And uh, my old line coach, uh, he, who's since passed away, a guy by the name of Pat Watson, uh, asked me to jump into coaching. And uh, I, I told him, I, you know, I never really thought about it before. and. And my dad mentioned that to me a number of times, you know, hey, when your football's done, you ought to think about coaching. And, and it just was a natural fit. I fell in love with it. You know, uh, I love football. Uh, it's something in my blood. I mean, when, when you're in a family, uh, you know, when I was a little kid in Oklahoma City on, on the northeast side there growing up, and every day when we got back from church, you know, my grandfather had, had uh, football on every every single station so and then the same thing was true on Saturdays I mean it was always the OU game I mean so I mean I grew up the, the girls in my family love football so it's like it's in my blood and it's gonna it's been in my blood all my life and and um, it's you know I, it was a natural fit for me well you grew up watching OU but you also have some other Sooner ties in the family right that's right that's right I uh, I a lot of a lot of my relatives on my on my granddad's side are from Lawton and I had a cousin that played played for OU back in the day and, and I mean I was really young so I mean I didn't really know you know what all was going on if he was getting good or not I just knew it was you know I just knew our family was like wow you know we got a, we got a relative that's actually playing for the Sooners so uh, it, it goes way back it's deep it's pretty deep so I'm pretty excited. So what was it like growing up watching the Sooners? It was awesome you know <laughs> it was awesome I mean when you're living in Oklahoma and like I did for seven years of my life before my mom uh, moved me back to Texas or moved me to Texas for the first time which is where she was born 
um, you know, that's that's all it was. You know, yeah, that's all you knew. You didn't know anything different than that. So I mean, he was he was growing up in the days of the heydays of OU football. Now I mean, not that these aren't the, are good times, but you guys know what I'm talking about. They're the Sooner fans. I mean, it was it was exciting. It was exciting watching the watching the, watching the Sooners and. Um, I just look forward to some, time, some times like that so my family can actually watch me on the sideline coaching now. Well, thank you so much for your time. We appreciate it, and we welcome you to Norman. Thank you. Glad to be here.